Hi, here I have the ASUS gaming desktop. The model is G10DK. If you're looking to upgrade the computer, maybe the RAM, the hard drive, I mean the solid state drive, things like that, or even replacement on a power supply, this video is gonna walk you through those process. I'm gonna take it apart, kind of give each pointers, what are the things that you can upgrade and things that you can replace. All right, so by default, the hardware actually runs on an AMD processor. This is the R5 3400. It has a DDR4 of 8 gigabytes RAM, so definitely you can increase up to 16 or 32. The graphics card is a GTX 1650, and it has the uh, one terabyte, three and a half inch, and the 256 PCIe M.2 drive. So the ideal way of doing especially installing the games, is to put everything on a C drive instead of having the windows on the C drive and the program files on the D drive, the one terabyte, the regular mechanical spinning disk. Uh, that way, you know, it's, it's going to slow down your game. So if you want, my recommendation is to put everything onto the M.2 and maybe discard the entirely of the uh, three and a half inch uh, mechanical hard drive get a ssd drive in state all right so these are the rest of the specs and let's go ahead and jump right into it so the computer here this is the uh the back of the computer and this is the graphics card here at the bottom so we need to open up the side panel to get into the computer let's go ahead and get a phillips screwdriver here remove the screw And there's one screw here at the bottom. Two of the screws are removed. You can slide the side panel. The side panel should go back to the left. So push it to the left and it will just pop right out. At this point, you can see the internal part of the computer. I'm just going to quickly identify uh, some of the things of what you're looking for. So this is the exhaust fan. Uh, the heat sink and the CPU processor is, uh, the CPU is underneath the heat sink. So this is the CPU fan. You have four RAM slot, and this is only one of the single RAM, eight gigabytes is installed. Here you have the M.2 SSD drive, and this is your graphics card, okay? And right here, the entire big piece underneath, all the way at the bottom, that is your motherboard. This is your CMOS battery. The CMOS battery is the one that holds down the time and the date on the computer. All right, so um, let's remove the RAM. By removing the RAM, what you can do is you should push the clipper right here, push it. And you can lift the RAM up to remove the RAM. So identify the RAM, this is a DDR4. How do I know it's this DDR4? It says PC4. PC4 stands for DDR4. This is an 8 gigabytes of RAM. If you're not sure where to buy the RAM, please check the link down in the description below. I will link it to either Amazon or eBay where you can find a replacement RAM. To install the RAM, make sure that you find the gap here matches the RAM slot. So there's a RAM slot. If you take a look, the RAM slot right here, uh, there's a slot where you need to match the gap in that slot. Once you're in, push it down both sides, the left and the right, and you can feel like the clicker. The clipper is going to clip back in, lock onto the RAM. And let's just say you're going to add additional RAM here. What you want to do is make sure that you have it under the lighter gray. So these two are the black and then the other two are the lighter gray. You can see that here on the motherboard, it says A2 and B2 are installed first, A1 and B1 are installed second. So those are the slots. Okay, 
and there you go you can have eight and eight and upgrade to 16 or you can have all eight you have 32 gigs of ram all right move on to the next uh to remove the cpu fan or the heat sink uh, you can disconnect the uh, cpu fan connector right here and to remove it you have to flip this this uh, little clipper flip it open and here you're going to see that little latch the latch is to hold on to the cpu fan so you need to kind of lift it up and once you have done that part see if i can lift it up without removing this is the problem with amd i'm not sure if it happens to you but it happens to me almost 80 percent of the time they put a thermal paste on the cpu together with the heatsink over time that thermal paste get dried up when the thing is dried up the way they use this is uh, just a pin to pin it down to the cpu connector right here and that pin can easily be removed even though the lock is still locking into this the processor so the amd processor always give me a problem because when you remove it this thing would just come out together with it anyway to to add more um to add more of the uh, thermal paste you just have to remove that that cpu here clean out that th the thermal paste and reapply with the new uh, thermal paste my recommendation to use on a thermal paste i don't have it here with me at this point sorry about that i'll link it in the description below and uh, use that for that all right so that is a cpu i'm just going to put it here on the side i need to reapply that heat sink afterwards jump onto the hard drive uh, you have the m.2 ssd drive here to remove that you just have to have a phillips screwdriver get in there remove the tiny little screw lift up the m.2 at 45 degree angle it's gonna feel a little bit sticky because the uh, thermal pad the thermal pad is right here the little gray pad that is the thermal pad uh, prevent things from sliding away moving around and also conducts heat so that is the uh, ssd drive m.2 okay once you have removed that part you can upgrade to one terabyte or whatnot now we can jump right into the graphics card so make sure you open up that little clipper here there are two screws holding down the graphics card remove them this one the two so remove the two screws remove the six pin connector you need to press that little clipper press and hold the clipper until you pull that six pin connector out of the graphics card now this cpu has eight and eight pin for pcie so if you want to have a powerful graphics card you can actually upgrade them uh, pay attention to the pcie pcie um, slot here there's a little clipper you need to press it down once you press it down then you can uh, lift it lift up the uh, graphics card okay this is the uh, 1650 gtx you can upgrade to a larger one if you want uh, because the graphics uh, the power supply have enough power to power things up I think it can go up to like a 2000 series or 3000 series if I'm if I'm not mistaken do not quote me on this but I think you can definitely upgrade to hopefully a 3000 series GTX do they call GTX or RTX one of those anyway uh, that's pretty much it do not forget to check the link down in the description below I'll definitely link it down there and um, this is your Wi-Fi card oh yeah via hard drive so you do see the little SATA cable right here you see the SATA cable the SATA cable is connected to the 
uh, internal part of the computer under underneath here where the power supply and the hard drive is so you should remove it if you don't need them but anyway thanks for watching until next time bye now